Hello everyone, this is John and welcome back to the Fetish Channel. Today I believe is Advent Day 10. And today, we're going to be trying this Moore Brewing Company's triple, Belgian style, triple ale. So I think it's called triple, and it is a Belgian style triple ale. The uh, sticker on the can here that I got was kind of ripply. I looked up online, other people's cans don't look like this, so I think I just got a bad one. And uh, there were so many pictures of this online because this is the first one that I'm going to be reviewing that's actually been out and available for a little bit of time right now, at least since Thanksgiving. Uh, more Brewery, actually have two. They have one in Villa Park, and they have one in Huntley, Illinois. Villa Park is like around Lombard area, and Huntley is there's really nothing too close to it that's notable. Algonquin-ish area. Uh, anyway, more brewing. Um, they have information about this beer on the website because they're selling it uh, online as well by itself. So this is the. Oh, I just lost it. There we go. Triple Belgian Triple. The name of it is Triple. It is a Belgian Triple. Not on this can anywhere, but on the website it does say that it's an 8.8 .8 alcohol by volume. Um, yep. No one on here doesn't say it. It does say who the artwork is by, though. It doesn't say who put the sticker on the can. It allows a job. Anyway, a few things about a Belgian triple is going to be fairly clear. It's going to be in the lower range of bitterness. It's going to be on the higher range of alcohol by volume. It's supposed to serve a tulip, but it's just going to be in the same style of pine class that I've been doing every week. One of the most commercially known versions of the Belgian Triple A would probably be Allagash Triple. I've seen that before. There are two hundred and ten reviews of this beer on Untapped, with such reviews as Survive School Reading Night. This is tasty. Yeasty, finish, drinkable, decent. A lot of reviews that are just like the four or five other things. Two of these give me a warm and funny feeling. Very happy with how this turned out. Classic Belgian triple. Light, smooth, crisp flavor. There was a good one here. Really good. Classic triple. Flavor profile. Just have a bit of banana. Outstanding beer. Yeah, there was a lot of them that said this tastes kind of like banana y. Delicious. Not as cool as what Garrick's drinking, I'm sure. Who's Garrick? I don't know. Fabulous. Not as spicy as most triples, but still really good. On uh, craftbeer.com it says the Belgian triples sometimes have a mild spicy characteristic. Maybe that's what they were picking up on there. Spicy and tasty. Style compliant. Light aftertaste. Subtle, bready, and earthy notes. 
Nice Belgian character. Well, where's a good one? Classic Triple. Very smooth, very impressive. Belgians are my fave. They def do it justice. Thanks, Jeff A. Thank you, Jeff A. More, better. Goes good with yummy yeah, Italian beef egg rolls. Clean Belgian, hint of banana. There was one person who definitely mentioned they had it on Thanksgiving. Sidecar of Malort. Didn't not really know what to expect from this. It's really good and sweet and tasty at the hint of banana bread. Now it's got basically a 4 out of 5 on here, out of 210. It's like a Heffenweizen and collided with a triple. That's because of the banana parts of it. Delightful. Second. What was the first? Who knows? There we go. Clear and good. That was the review I was looking for that I couldn't find. Clear and good. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack it open, pour it out, take a picture, and finally taste it. clear. You can see the Christmas tree right through it. Alright. Picture time. Alright. I expect to taste some banana. This smell quite yeasty. Yeah, at the 8.8%, you can definitely taste it. It's a bit on the boozy side. Definitely tastes like every other Belgian triple I've ever had. It tastes like it has more alcohol than regular beer does. say it's easy to drink. It's got job. More brewing. Triple. Belt and triple. Not going to be one of my favorites out of the box, I'll tell you that. But, Mountain Triple, not really my favorite style. Anyway, well, that's all we got for today. We'll see you in the next Advent Beer Review. Goodbye.